So you were in the other day, and you had a red leg. We, we put a little needle in it to see if it was abscessed, and nothing nothing happened. Uh, we put you on some antibiotics. You developed a reaction to the antibiotics, and so you're back this morning. You feel like it's uh, gotten larger, right? Yes, sir. And it, uh, it it most likely has. So we're gonna numb this up again and put a needle in there and see if anything drains. We think you've got a cellulitis here, an infection. The question is, are we abscessed also? Caveman, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Let's see if we can, I know this is tender, it's sore. Have you had any fevers or chills? No. Okay. And you're okay if I video this for our friends on YouTube? It's fine. You sure? <laughs> you're videoing me too, so I guess that's all right. I'll video my leg. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna spray a little cold spray on you here and see if I can't numb this up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Here's the cold spray and then a little injection. You're gonna feel a stick sting in the burn. Slowly going in. Okay. How was that? Not too bad. All right. Just on the legs, like you're Oh yeah, just on the leg. All right, let's put a let's put a needle in here and see if we get any pus out this time. Take a deep breath. One, three. One, two, three. Deep breath. Yeah, now we're getting some pus out. I'm just gonna put a little gentle squeeze on you here. How's that feeling? You're not feeling anything perfect. That's what I want. So going forward, what I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and do some warm compresses on this several times a day. That hurt a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to put a little poke in here for you. The idea is to keep this open so that it drains, okay? We don't want this to close back up. So if you've been putting any kind of ointment on it or anything like that, I need you to stop. Okay. No ointments because they'll plug, you know, plug the opening where it will stop you and get a little more out of there. Also, we're going to give you another injection, ceftriaxone, and put you on a different antibiotic. We'll do this off camera in a minute, but uh, we will swab this and see if we can get a little something for our culture. Okay? Okay. Caveman, you're awesome. Thanks for letting us uh, record. Hey, folks. Are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and can use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta7, I've got more energy uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better. So it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. The four hours were really sluggish. I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime.